It's me again, Tyler here, and you're watching Kuya Kyle's Learning Adventures. And in this video, we're going to talk about the fourth planet in our solar system, the planet Mars. So, come on, join me and let's explore what this planet has to offer. Let's go! The planet Mars, also known as the Red Planet. It is red because the soil looks like rusty iron. Mars may look hot due to its red color but is actually cold. Mars is the fourth branch from the sun. And it is currently 246.57 million kilometers away from the sun. The surface of Mars is rocky with canyons, volcanoes, dry lake beds, and craters all over it. Most of its surface is covered with red dust. Just like Earth, Mars has clouds and wind. Sometimes the wind blows the red dust into a dust storm. Atmosphere on Mars is made up of mainly carbon dioxide. It is about 100 times thinner than Earth's atmosphere and it has very little oxygen. Mars only have 0.13% oxygen on its atmosphere unlike that of the Earth which is 21%. Because of this, humans still need to wear spacesuits and have oxygen tanks to survive in Mars. It would also require living in artificial Mars habitats with complex life support systems. Explorations to Mars lead to many discoveries. Studies show that next to Earth, Mars is the most habitable planet in our solar system. Why and how? Here are the reasons. The soil in Mars contains water to extract. It is not too cold or too hot. It receives enough sunlight to use solar panels. Gravity on Mars is 38% compared to Earth's gravity. And many believe that this is sufficient for the human body to adapt to. The atmosphere in Mars though, it's a thin one, offers protection from cosmic and the sun's radiation. The day-night rhythm is very similar to ours here on Earth. One Mars day is 24 hours, 39 minutes, and 35 seconds. Missions to Mars, a brief history. The planet Mars has been remotely explored by spacecraft. Beginning in the late 20th century, there were probes sent from Earth that resulted in a large increase in knowledge about the Martian system which focuses primarily on understanding its geology and habitability potential. About 60% of our spacecraft destined for Mars failed before completing their missions and some failed before their observations could begin. Some missions have met with unexpected success such as the twin Mars exploration rovers. Spirit and opportunity which operated for years beyond their specification. 
There have been nine successful U.S. Mars landings, Viking 1 and Viking 2, both 1976. Pathfinder 1997, Spirit and Opportunity, both 2004, Phoenix 2008, Curiosity 2002, and Perseverance 2021. The only other country to land a spacecraft on Mars was the Soviet Union in 1971 and 1973. The United States, the Soviet Union, the European Space Agency, and India have successfully sent spacecraft to enter Mars orbit. Did you know the largest volcano in our solar system can be found in Mars? Yes, you heard that right! It is called Olympus Mounds. It is the massive Martian mountain that towers high above the surrounding plains of the red planet and may be binding its time until the next eruption. Olympus Mounds rises three times higher than Earth's highest mountain. Mount Everest, which peak is 5.5 miles above sea level. Pop quiz! How much oxygen does the planet Mars have? Answer! Mars only has 0.13% oxygen of its atmosphere. That's it for now guys. Thank you for joining me in this learning adventure. If you learned in this video, please subscribe and bell icon. So, thank you guys. See you on my next learning adventures.